What happened in game number one? Wolf versus Diddy Kong, Charlie the King versus Chewy. What a surprise! We're starting it off with Pokemon Stadium number two. Oh yeah, give me that banana. I got the no. I got combos for this. Okay. You think you know Diddy combos? I know them. Already a quick 43 percent. More banana uses than the Diddy Kong already had. Uh, uh, up, of that's, course, that's a classic combo. combo. Yeah, classic. The bread and butter, the first one you learn with Diddy Kong, honestly. Hey, yo, what? Oh, what a call oh. out. Dog, he's going crazy with the combos here, though. Charlie said, I got something. Chewie's that, looking for all his character. Twitter clips, bro. He's he did like, like, this is my character, my item. You think I don't know these? Like, come on, man. Chewie did like 19 movement options in like half a second. Yo, this banana is getting tossed back and forth. These players are getting equal share of this banana play. I do like that way to get back to stage. I do see. I am seeing Diddy's do that a lot. Just bails back to stage. A lot of people don't want to contest it in case it blows up and then they die from it. Charlie not gonna give him that second down till. Now Colin's got that read, going for the banana. Charlie has it himself though. I do like that wolf flash instead of going for that uh, wolf up B. That would have given uh, Chewie time to actually react to it and hit it. Of course Charlie is doing these Z-drop nares. He, he's got that tech down. Of course he does. Why not? Obviously. Alright. Again, tries to pull out the banana to beta reaction from Charlie, but Charlie's just sitting back content to laser. And Charlie does have the percent. He oh, just pulls boot him out. Punts him in the face. Let's see what kind of combos Charlie has with this banana now. I do like the way that Charlie is doing these Z-drops and then catching the banana. That's something you see Diddy Kong's use. Doing Z-drops for these uh, air, uh, for these items are a really good way to like trip up your opponent instead of just throwing them back. That just shows that someone's comfortable using items. Already racking up 78%. That back there barely killing. That had to be the perfect percent. Yeah, I, I didn't expect that to. And of course, Charlie just on reaction I, goes. I told you, I've got some for that. Like, we, we talked about it before the set, but, like, you use your movement options too much. Eventually, Charlie's just going to start calling them out. Mm hmm I know Chewie is looking for that opening to start getting his damage, but Charlie's not letting him. All right, catches the jump there with that up air. Yeah, dead. And Death we've still got the banana. Death penalty for him right there. All right, here we go. I'll try, if you got that landing up here, we was confirmed into a down air. We wouldn't have killed him, we would have put him in a really bad position. I, I thought that was somehow going to link into a down air for Charlie. No, um, Charlie, he was trying to. I, he, of course. I love the way that Charlie's using this banana. He's so comfortable with it. Uh, Chewie's barely getting a chance to even use it himself. I He's, mean, he did play a lot of Smash 4, and one of his most played matchups was K9's Diddy Kong in that game. Mm -hmm. So it's not really surprising that he knows how to deal with the banana and make it his own. I'm sure, he had plenty of practice with it in the previous game as well. I mean, it's different character he's playing. Should be death. Idea. Oh, catches the roll in, but not gonna die just yet. Yeah, that F tilt really good at two framing. If we timed that a bit better, that would have been it. Why are you Why are you putting your hands there? That That's like the you put your hand on the stove one time, you never do it again. <laughs> he's never F tilting Wolf again. That was tragic. I feel like Chewie definitely had that second stock when he had Charlie. Wolf flash right into him. He threw the banana down instead of forward. He thought he was closest, so he would have gotten that uh, confirmed F smash, but just throwing it the wrong way. Still, the way that Charlie was playing with that banana, too, was barely getting any chance to get it. Every time he pulled up an banana when they were in neutral, Charlie was just casting him, calling out where he was going to go. Oh, you're going to retreat there? I got something for that. You're going to go in. I know where you're going to be. He was using that banana like it was his item. Still, Chewy wasn't playing too bad. He does need a couple more. Just, uh, yeah, he just needs to clean it up a little bit. Now, this is semi, so it's specified. Oh, true. So we're going to be getting at least two more games of this, and I'm all for it. This is Smashville. I do like the pick. I do enjoy Smashville as a stage. Real uh, comfortable stage for people to play on. You, know, you want to be near your opponent. That's a good stage to go to. Now, the thing I'm worried of is, do you want to give Charlie all that space in, in your face, or you know, do you want to kind of take the time to reset? I feel like the answer is he wants the small stage not give Charlie any time to, like, think and set up. Mm -hmm. The stage is going to stay on top of Charlie the King the whole time. He really got that down throw down here. At 80. That, that still works. He almost killed him. 
That's definitely the DI check. Uh, I thought he was going to go for the down air, but I don't think he was confident in getting it. Still, this is looking pretty good for Chewie. No jump there. Is he going to get this up tilt? He's yeah. dead. So great stop for Chewie. Your first lead of the set. That mo his movement right now is really nice, the way he's calling out Charlie. I love Charlie's patience there. Instead of just trying to guess the option, he's just waiting to see what Chewie wanted to do. Unfortunately, Chewie not giving him anything that he's going to be able to truly capitalize off of. So, oh, I can't believe that God. didn't hit him. Still, even though Chewie was up, he was playing like he was down. The way that Charlie still commanded the presence, even with the deficit. That could be really daunting to go against sometimes. Full stage monkey flip, great command grab. Great DI from Charlie DI and in instead of out, he definitely would have died there. Oh, the reflector, <laughs> he knows. Oh Are my we? god. Do oh. not stand up against me. You will sit down for the rest of this stock if I tell you to, apparently. Again, that full stage monkey flip. That's such a great way. He's still doing this. Looking for the... Yeah. <laughs> not dying there. I mean, even he reels his head back and laughs a little bit. Like, okay, that happened. That's definitely one of those mix-ups that, like, you kind of forget about. I've seen a lot of, like, other players go for that, especially when they have banana in hand. They'll let the monkey flip go, and then they'll throw the banana and get him if, they're catch you, uh, if they catch you mashing. Dash attack. Almost get a kill. Look at this presence that Shelly has. Chewie's jumping around, and Shelly's just letting him, waiting for him to land. You're going to have to do something eventually, and I will catch you. Chewie's just not really had an op, a way of understanding where Charlie's going to land. He's trying to guess it, but he just can't find the rhythm yet. Alright, but at least Chewie is keeping this game incredibly close. As I say that, almost loses his stock to Wolf forward air, but you know, he is at least able to hold on to the stock, not give anything. Charlie can be said the same, oh, but Wolf Flash from Ledge... Almost in place, just barely goes on to stage with it. That was a, that was a great mix-up. We didn't see Charlie do that at all yet, and that was definitely a way to call him out. I was expecting Chewie to stand back, wait for the option for Charlie to get up, and then go for like a monkey flip or something. But that I'll smash again. Don't touch my shield. If I have an option to get rid of it, I will do that. And I think what we saw right there was really just smart from Charlie. He just empty hops, shields immediately, baits out the banana throw. Mm -hmm. But Chewie, big. Edge guard there, 53%, almost gets the stock off of Charlie early, but doesn't take it. Still, big lead here, down throw on the banana. He oh. baits off the reflector even, Z-Drop nares it. I love this move, I love this move from Chewie. When he's on it, he's just, he's showing the Diddy movement, he's making himself tricky. Charlie hasn't really got a chance to call him out yet, and look at him, already 114%, one banana hit will be death. Atosi. Oh, just barely a little bit. What are the odds this ends in fair flash? What do you mean? Oh, yeah, no, that's definitely happening. If he is hit. Nope, that's going to be it. Banana down tilt Ooh. back here is going to do it for Chewie. I was convinced Charlie gets one fair game's over. Oh, absolutely. Gets the banana extra over. So I love this way that Chewie's using these uh, pop gun cancels. He grabbed the banana, dude, did the instant pop gun cancel, threw the banana full stage, and was able to still confirm into a down tilt back air. That's that kind of move where you think at that distance, oh, he's not going to hit me, and then that comes at you, and oh my god, I'm dead, and now 1-1. One, one. I'm loving the set so far. Yeah, Chewie is keeping it competitive with Charlie the King right now. I did not see where the stage was for game three. FD, I, I like this stage for both characters, honestly. I've seen a lot of Diddy's enjoy using FD because they have a lot of other stages banned, but at the same time, the way that Charlie plays, he does like to just wait for your option, and if you have no options to retreat to, Charlie's just going to bully you until you can't move. I, I like that he kind of postures himself for the second flash. After Chewie, like, interrupts the first one, it looks like you instantly go for a second one, but instead he uh, goes for the wolf flash, doesn't get edgeguard any. What are you doing there? I've seen that before. I told you. Yeah, you've done that once. That's enough. A great okay. follow-up from Charlie. Have you ever thought, like, if you could have, like, a superpower, but it couldn't be, like, huge, like, what would you have? I feel like Charlie's is, like... Oh, he can just go back like three seconds in time every so often it, to like make the correct option whenever he's playing. I'd be with that. Because like that's just what it feels like watching him. It's like, how do you know to go for that? Oh, you already lived that three seconds ago. Like, you saw him go for that 
drop, double jump, banana, and you just down smashed it. You didn't hit that the first time. You hit that the second time. See, look, even Charlie was ready for the banana flip. Uh, the, uh, yeah, the Back banana flip. seconds. I'm convinced. So, 100%. He ran right through that laser, too. Chewie's looking for his option right now. It looks like he had that roll read, but I think it was just a bit too scared of Charlie doing another option. Right, it's the, ro it's right, the roll behind up tilt. My mistake. Uh, but yeah, Charlie looking for the back air lands just a little bit too early. Uh, doesn't get the hitbox out, and instead it's going to be an up tilt, but an up smash from Wolf Charlie. Wolf up smash, the way that it just low profile or high profiles people. So I love seeing Wolf up smash scoop people up. It's such, it's such, what's the word, satisfying thing to watch. I mean, the hitbox looks like it does what it's going to do. You know, like it's not a deceptive hitbox. You go low real quick. Kind of pancake, go under things, scoop them up. I just want to know why they decided to make it scoop that far. Toasty. So do I. It really could be aggravating to get hit by that sometimes, but, you know, don't land on someone's shield like that. Still already 50% for Chewy. This is looking rough. This is looking like Charlie's game right now. But we finally see Chewy in a bit of advantage state. Again, like we said, Charlie's doing these, or Chewy's doing these options. And Charlie's just waiting to react to what he does after the monkey flip instead of trying to punish it. Downer almost killed him off the top. That's not going to kill just yet, but it's going to be pretty close. Fair from ledge. Now, this is not too much of a deficit. FT is a great stage for Diddy to get a lot of these like low percent conversions. We've seen the banana down air into barrels set up a lot. So this could be a way, really easy way to get 60%, but he's got to land first. Oh, that's a rough place to be, but Charlie still having a hard time finding these F tilts. I feel like we haven't really seen him gain the two frame with the F tilt a lot. Oh, he scouts out that air dodge. Charlie's been doing that a lot after these back, uh, dash back into back airs. See, right now what Chewie needs to do is he needs to make sure he's not landing on Charlie's shield really obviously so he doesn't get another up smash. All right, again, catches that back air. This could be scary. Great roll in. He knew if he rolled straight in, that was going to be that nair into uh, down air. 156% at this point, Charlie just needs an up tilt, a back throw. Oh, there's Form the away. Back throw. Yeah. He died so fast, there was not a chance. Charlie now going up 2-1 in this set. Looking really good for Charlie. I like the way that he was playing there. He was looking a little bit shaky. He's kind of letting Chewie come back a little bit, but he just kind of kept his composure, waited for him to make a mistake. And that's a really good thing for these players to do in that high uh, stock situation. I'm, I'm curious where Chewie went. I didn't actually see the stage. Anyways, game four. Yeah, Charlie up 2-1 now. Going to Battlefield. We did see Chewie counterpick on the stage before. So I'm curious what the uh, the thought process with the Battlefield pick is. You have more platforms to retreat to. So I could understand that. Also with these... Uh, with these uh, what's the word? Ledges. You get a lot more ledge cancels with the monkey flip. Especially if you do the uh, kick cancel, you can get a lot of tricky movement going on. That's definitely what Chewie likes to use. Parries it just for the flex. Alright, up throw. It's gonna be the option here into an up air. Pretty simple stuff. You know, the shine into the back air is definitely something that you don't see from every wolf. I, I'm not even sure if it's real. I'm pretty sure it is, actually. I've seen Charlie go for, like, Shine Bear Flash and it kill people for some reason. I have seen those Twitter clips. Alright, catches him with the banana. Two transcended hitboxes just pass by each other and both people get hit. Alright, another dash tag. A little, uh, little ambitious with the down air. I, I like that shine. He doesn't catch it this time. Instead, just says, that's what good where it is. I don't want it to lose a charge of it. Mm -hmm. um, and instead, just going to let stay on the ground. Not going to actually get anything off of it, but at least resets it. Oh, man. I uh, kind of waiting for that uh, the movement change from Chewie so he can get that up air. Chewie not giving it to him, though. This is a pretty competitive first stock. You got to see who's going to win this in first. 
Yeah, I feel like once one of them is able to take a stock, we'll be able to see at least a little bit of momentum, and these two players can do a lot with a little bit of momentum. Mm -hmm. And gets that shine banana reflect into the F tilt. Kelly taking the first stock and still having the banana. Oh my oh. god, I thought he jumped into the last hit. All he's jumping into is a lot of damage. Look at the way that Charlie's playing right. He had him there with that up tilt just a little too late. I buy an up tilt of Chewie's own, and it's going to be two stocks apiece. 74%, not the worst position in the world. But the way that Charlie plays when Chewie's trying to get this advantage stage started, it makes it so difficult to hit him. And even if he does, he's not getting a lot of percent for it. He's kind of just nickel and diving him into the percent. So, oh my oh. god. Don't jump. Do not. Caught right into Private his Private airspace. <laughs> Restricted airspace. Got a shine into the grab there. 40% already. This is looking like Charlie's kind of figured out the way that Chewie's playing. He's kind of not getting hit with these open conversions. Gets a double down tilt or up tilt. Still Chewie finally finding something there. Oh, he had the, uh, the uh, get up attack scouted out, but he was just a little too late on it. Sometimes you feel like you have all the time in the world to punish get up attack, and sometimes you feel like you have no time at all. I want to see Charlie, if Charlie is going to end this, I'd like to see him end it with like some kind of crazy banana combo that he'd be like, oh, I just thought of this. And All right, there's the back throw. Just going to get stage control. Chasing him out, goes, knows the monkey flip is coming, goes for the back air, but does not actually find it. Instead of resets, does not want to land on Chewie's shield while the banana is active. Oh, gets that max range, uh, but down to into up smash and barely killing there. Again, 99%. Chewie has really fought on the back foot a lot of this set. And Charlie is not one to be open up too, too easily. He really does need to find a really good opening to start to bring this back. Here we go. This could be it. I'm liking the way that uh, Chewie is doing these get-up attacks on ledge. He's not doing them too often that Charlie's scouting them out. It seems like every time he has it, it's like, oh, wow, that was the right option. He just kicked him behind. Dog, that snake? 